WrestlingWithNerd.com. I'm Snarf Chris. Johnny Stash. Today we're looking at DC Collectibles Bizarro. 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 From? From the New 52. So the regular. Yeah, you said regular universe um, created by Lex Luthor. Uh, make sure you check out our reviews of Ultraman and Superwoman and Deathstorm and Power Ring. So we get those reviews up now. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at Bizarro, which. Costume design wise, I think he's kind of a weird. Yeah. Um, T shirt. Superhero. Well, I guess pants. I guess it's a little reminiscent of yeah. what what Superman first started with, and then even Fifty Two wearing boots and mm. jeans and a T shirt. But um, the figure actually looks cool. It does have a really cool head sculpt, but we're gonna get into that. Uh, let's jump right into the box. We'll, and we'll show, show the figure. We'll show you guys the box and the figure. Okay, everybody. Here we have the Bizarro from uh, the new Fifty Two. Um, same thing, once again, with every other DC box of these New 52 toys. What we have here, we have super, the DC Comics Super Villains, because he's a super villain. Um, this side, we have some box art silhouette of the character with, with that is within the box. And on the back, they have a profile pic of Bizarro, and it's odd that they chose to put the Crime Syndicate down there with him when, you know, he's not in the Crime Syndicate, so... Why they did that, I don't know, but that's what they did. Back in the front, they had the little peel of the page that's actually on DC Comics. They use this for, to pretty much sell any DC merchandise. And that's the box. Let's get them out of here. Okay, everyone. Here we have the uh, the Bizarro figure. Now, personally, I have a love-hate relationship with this figure. I think he looks super, super cool. I love his metallic pants, the metallic shoes, the metallic cape. I even do not mind the shirt because the S, the crest, is embroidered on top. It's not actually part of his suit. Um, the way they sculpted his head and his skin, how it's segmented, kind of like the rock, like the thing. Really cool. The paint, even the paint application, or the color scheme actually, should I say, of his arms and his skin or whatever. Super cool. Really spot on. Um... I'm going to go through the articulation first. Uh, we, at the feet, we have the 360 pivot. Not on any other toy I've seen. Pivots up and down. Double jointed knees. Kind of important. Have hip flexors right there. He does the split slide vein down. Um, he has... He doesn't have a twist. Doesn't have a twist of the... But he does have an ab crunch. My ab crunch on him, it's a little tight right now. I don't want to really break it, so I'm not going to crunch his ab. Maybe if you have one, your ab crunch isn't tight like that. He has a, uh, at his wrist, they don't go, did they go forward back? Yes, they do. They twist side to side, even at the elbows, biceps, shoulders rotate in and out. His head side to side, up and down, no impeding on that. Um, his belt right here is a little loose. It's glued on in the back a little bit. It gives it like a, a different effect to it to make it seem like it's actually separated from the toy. You know, not actually part of the sculpt of the toy, which is a nice little effect. Dun dun dun! Holy crap! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> There you go, people. Here's awesome. One of the problems that we've been having with these new features. Is that features. common for the Lexus to come up like that? Um, I've seen, I've seen a uh, Johnny Quick in the box where his leg popped off. It's a ball joint that just pops right back in? Or? A ball joint just popped right back in, yeah. That's crazy. Well, that's one of the, the problems that with these toys. Even though they have these awesome articulations, they have quality problems with uh, things staying together. And another thing that's a quality problem with this guy, he has a lot of paint chipping. He has paint chipping all around the right bicep. Uh, where else did you see paint chipping? Uh, bleeding underneath the collar. He's right got underneath bleeding his underneath his collar. Even when I pulled this guy out of the box, right here, his cape popped off and this uh, super glued it back. It looks super, super awesome. It looks super, super cool. But this is the one toy that I probably have the most problem with. Him and uh, Johnny Quick, his Johnny Quick's left hip 
wants to fall, so I can't make him actually look like he's running too much. He can run a little bit, but not too much. Uh, once again, we're going to talk about the cape. People were complaining about the uh, smell of the cape. That new toy smell. This one, you know, he's been out the box for about a week. The smell's gone. Um, cool little thing, just like when um, Ultraman, he had some like, battle damage on his cape, some burn marks or whatever. On the bottom of Bizarro's cape, it's tattered. Tattered a little bit. Love the creases in it. It's uh, This is a cool toy. You know, I really like it. I got him hiding behind Superman, doing a little bicep flex. Like, look at that, babe. I'm pretty buff. But um, besides that, there's nothing. You're not spectacular about the toy. Even his hair skull. He's got this little mohawk thing kicking. It's a cool toy. I like it. I hope you guys like it too. And that's gonna be. My Bizarro review. There's our review of Bizarro. Bizarro. Uh, make sure you're checking out all these other reviews, past yeah. few videos. We also have some Master of the Universe classic reviews. Most importantly, every every review, every monthly subscription from Master of the Universe. Um, coming up, we're going to have some uh, new thing. Loot Crate. Loot Crate? Know? What's a Loot Crate? Loot Crate is a box they send you of random nerdy things, t-shirts, toys, stuff like that. You never know what you're gonna get. Every month has like a theme. Uh, next month's dragons, so, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, for sure. Skyrim, stuff like that. Oh, sweet! So we're gonna do that um, end of the month. I think we'll have that up. Um, but subscribe, subscribe, thumbs up. It's a free subscription. Free subscription. Thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter. Twitties nuts, bitch. Uh, follow everybody else on Somewhat Nerdy Family's uh, Facebook page. Uh, we got Ben's 80s horror page, Star Wars page, uh, Roz's horror page. Roz's Midnight Macabre. Yeah. Dude, this guy, horror buff. Loves horror movies, even old silent black and white horror movies. But you know what? Of all these horror movies that he's seen, he's never seen the Evil Dead remake. Yeah. So, um, go tell him to watch it. Just go bother him about it. Bust his balls. Yeah, bust his balls about um, jobs, Star Wars page, uh, um, Darth Domain, our, our comic book guy, uh, Critters, Social Virus. She's got to wear accounts, kid. Wise men say forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for a late pizza. Cowbunga, dude. Stay nerdy.